Hello and welcome, Pastor John here, and I want to welcome you again to our Going Through the Bible series. And uh, if you followed along, you um, you will know we're in the uh, still in the wisdom literature books and the books of literature and uh, wisdom literature. And then today we're going to be looking at Proverbs, the book of Proverbs. So please open your Bible and go to Proverbs. Chapter 3, verses 19 to 26. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 19 to 26. All right. Here we read. By wisdom, the Lord founded the earth. By understanding, he created the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst, earth burst forth and the dew settles beneath the night sky. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels jewels on a necklace. They keep you safe on your way, and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down and sleep soundly. You need not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. God bless you in your word. Surrendered and safe with God. Surrendered and safe with God. So here the book of Proverbs um, is basically a collection of wisdom uh, sayings. And that's practical, practical advice um, from God. Um, basically, effectively, uh, to discern good from evil. Uh, most of the, um, most of the uh, Proverbs are attributed to King Solomon. However, at the end, uh, th chapter 30, 31, also the sayings of King uh, Lemuel, and we do not know who King Lemuel was. So um, there's a lot going on there in the uh, book of Proverbs. And in our passage today, a little background here is basically um, the purpose is to live a godly life and to live for God. So um, when we read verse right at the book, uh, beginning of Proverbs, chapter 1, verses 1 to 7, it tells us about the purpose of Proverbs. And it's awesome. So join here. So Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 to 7. It says, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these proverbs and become even wiser. Let those who, with understanding receive guidance. By exploring the meaning in these proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and their riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. God bless the reading of his word. So in this last verse, verse 7, I'll read it again is the um, the um, basically what Proverbs is all about. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. God bless the reading of his word. So that's the key here. That's a red thread that runs right through Proverbs. So uh, we want to be God-fearing people, followers of Jesus Christ. So the topic is, Today, what, what does it mean to surrender to God? So in the passage we just read, in verses 19 to 20, we see that God is the creator of the universe, the earth and us, all human beings too, animals and human beings, right? God is the creator and we are his creation. In verse 21 to 23, God tells us here, to hold on to common sense and discernments, that means to to uh, uh, to distinguish and determine 
um, true from false, right? A true versus false. So to get spiritual discernment. Verses 24 to 25 is then the result of common sense versus discernment. Basically a contrast between the godly and the wicked. Right? There is a difference between godliness and uh, wickedness or ungodliness, if you want to call it that. And verse 26 uh, basically tells us who God is and what he does. All right, so uh, to apply this, so what does it mean to be surrendered to God? What does it mean to be surrendered to God? It means that God rewards those who fear him. God rewards those who fear him. How so? Well, following his word, his instructions for a fruitful and surrendered life on earth. And God is our security. Nothing else is. We see that in verse 26. God also promises to help us as we follow his lead. In Deuteronomy 31, 6, we read, So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. And do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will personally go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. God bless you in his word. And uh, Jesus tells us in Matthew 28, 20, Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you, and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. God bless you in his word. So that was encouragement from our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, when we are surrendered uh, to God as God-fearing people and followers of Jesus, we're safe with God. And that is the message here uh, today from the book of Proverbs. May God bless you and keep you.